Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you joining me for the first time, my name is Tina, also known as Too Tall Tina. And we are back with another speed build. Surprise, surprise. And, uh, so this was a very fun project. As you can see, there's already a shell down. I'm working on windows and doing a very bad job at picking out windows. Um, but so this was a collaboration that started on Twitter. Listen, I know that I like hype up the Twitter community so much. I'm going to do it again. Okay. This is, this is what's about to happen again because not only are they like crazy supportive, like the best group of people you could possibly talk to on a regular basis. Um, but they come up with some really cool things. So there is a one person on Twitter, one creator, uh, her name is Sophia damage 29. I will link her Twitter down below because you should jump on board with her because she's amazing. And, uh, she came up with this idea. She like tweeted out. She's like, Hey, would anybody be interested in doing this? And everybody was like, yes, <laughs> yes. And so there's like a bunch of people, they all jumped on board. And what she did was she paired everybody up with another creator, another, you know, builder, and we all built empty shells for one another. So the person that I was paired with, her name is Red Ross. She is on the Sims 4 gallery as R-E-D-D-R-O-S-S-S. -S -S, and she has some really amazing builds. You should absolutely check her out. And the shell that I built for her, she has already finished because, you know, I'm behind on everything in my life right now. Uh, <laughs> like, school is just insane. Um, but, so she's already finished hers. She turned the shell that I made for her into a library. And I'm like, do these people know me in real life or something? Do they just, like, know that I'm obsessed with books and all things reading and I always want to be reading <laughs> and so like once again somebody built me a library i i'm obsessed i'm obsessed and so this is the shell that she made for me i'm i am a little upset just a, a little like teeny tiny bit upset that there's di diagonal walls like I don't know if any of you remember the octagonal nightmare. <laughs> I will link that video up in the corner right about here. And uh, yeah, diagonal walls are not my friend, not in the least. But so she gave me this shell and I was like, oh my God, it's ginormous. It's so big, so much bigger than what I'm used to building for fun. So I'm like, well, obviously this is going to be a really big family home and I absolutely love it i love it like i like i said i tried out some uh, modern windows and stuff but then i ended up going with all the things from cats and dogs because obviously i'm building in brindleton bay and the i don't know i really was feeling the coastal thing and it all just sort of snowballed from there just giant snowball rolling down the hill until it's a huge monstrous mess of coastal feel but it's still very family i don't know i also got like a i don't know did any of you ever watch chip and joanna Gaines? because the, this is i feel like sh this is how she would have decorated this house very uh pretty colors very soft very i don't know there's like shiplap so i don't know maybe it's only the shiplap that makes me think of chip and joanna but Either way, I absolutely adore this kitchen. I don't know why it took me so long to use that blue swatch of the parenthood counters because they're so pretty, especially paired with that really minty kind of wallpaper. I, I die. I die. And then the octagonal room off to the side, I made that like the eat in area of the kitchen surrounded by all of those windows just looks so inviting this entire house i feel is very inviting and just so pretty i loved it it's just so pretty and the one room off to the side of the front door i feel like that's a very traditional thing here especially 
especially in like uh like the how the development communities you know like sprawl neighborhoods um that they when you walk in the front door there's always like an office so there's we did the office off to the side and the kitchen has like a little eat-in area and then i still did like a really nice big family table in the living room and then upstairs there are three bedrooms and two full bathrooms the master bathroom you guys gotta get ready for this because that master bathroom is amazing like it is so cool i tried to do some really interesting things with that anyways so as i said i love this kitchen i think it turned out just like the coolest little kitchen and i love the colors and then i turned that little room in the back into a laundry room slash pantry and is it dumb if i am very proud of this the way this pantry turned out like i start cluttering up all of the shelf the shelves and everything not so much that it looks really crazy but just enough so that it looks like a pantry and i think that it turns out so cute like i'm always proud of the weirdest rooms i'm like yes bathrooms this bathroom is so cool check out my garage <laughs> and they're like the the rooms that nobody should care about but i do i care about them i love them <laughs> and i am working on getting all of the clutter out for the kitchen and i didn't want it to be too like overly cluttered i wanted it to still i wanted it to look lived in but not un like not super cluttered I don't know like I feel like there's a very fine line between lived in and then we've been living here for too long and should probably clean stuff <laughs> so it like I tried to to walk that line in this the kitchen area and I am working on trying to pick out all the rugs and everything you guys know I struggle picking out rugs it takes me forever to decide what I want anyways <laughs> So you saw I just did the downstairs bathroom. It's a little, you know, half bathroom. Nothing to write home about. You know, t toilet, sink, that nonsense. And then I start going through all of the decorations part of build and buy and getting everything, you know, sort of sorted out and how I want it. And then I was working on this area behind the stairs and I realized that my family house doesn't have a lot of family going on yet other than, you know, lots of space. <laughs> so I just put down some cabinets and some uh, arts and crafts decorations and then I put a uh, gaming console <laughs> by the TV so that they can play some video games together and I think it all just turned out super super cute. I get all of the downstairs sorted out before I start working on the upstairs so this is just like the final touches making sure everything is exactly where I want it on the downstairs before we move upstairs. Anyways, so I've been having like a really weird conversation with a couple people on Twitter. Obviously, I talk to people on Twitter all the time, apparently. <laughs> so they, there's a few people who are also relatively new like me and they were asking about, is it worth trying to get into like voiceovers and stuff? And I'm like, voiceovers are very fun. You can talk about just about anything as long as you're having fun, it's still entertaining. Like, how often do I talk about toilets, people? I talk about the dumbest rooms all the time. <laughs> and I think that it's because there are... Like, obviously, you go to YouTube to watch certain videos. You're either there looking for information, how do I do this, how do I do that, or you're there for entertainment. And that entertainment stems in or also branches off into two separate areas, especially like between streamers and YouTube creators. Oh, I'm working on that master bathroom now. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but <laughs> so you either watch for entertainment, somebody who's exceptionally talented, like think about like the streamers you watch. Like my husband watches pew pew games all the time. So you either watch people who are really, really, really good or you watch people who are maybe not as good, but they're still extremely entertaining. And I, I think that's what voiceovers sort of add to a video. 
I hope that I fit in that category? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, so I love the way this master bathroom turned out. I like divided off the room with the divider from City Living and then like made the area behind it sort of like the wet room where there's the, the shower from University and then a big soaker tub from Cats and Dogs. And I love it. I listen i would die in that bathroom i love it i did struggle with the master bedroom a bit though like it's still a really good size but then i i gave myself a weird shape because who would i be if i did not ruin my own life people and i just i really enjoyed it i think it turned out super cute but anyways yeah so like that's my theory on watching videos for entertainment or watching streamers for entertainment you're either watching them because they're gonna do like some really cool things like really awesome like trick shots or whatever uh or you're watching them because they're fun to listen to and you want to join in the conversation and then this brought up another con this brought up another point and i need to know does anybody know if there are Sims streamers on Facebook, like Facebook gaming has been blowing up for like the last year or so. It's a huge platform now for streaming gaming, but I feel like I never see Sims gamers on there. So is that like not a thing? Does it need to be a thing? And then obviously when I brought this up on Twitter, they're like, you should be the first Tina. Bad idea bad idea like this is what I sound like edited could you imagine what I sound like not edited <laughs> it'd be a mess it's an absolute mess <laughs> anyway so I'm working on getting all of the decorations down in the master bedroom and I tried to be better about going like room by room instead of jumping around between all of them and I really like the way that I did the the uh the shelving and then the pictures sitting on top of the shelves I think that turned out super cute and I put down a little chair and a lamp as if they you know they sit there and they get ready in the day and gave them some closet items so the dresser and the shelves with the hanging clothes I just think it turned out super cute and then decided that I was also going to give them some of those kids decorations that the kids can make on the activity table and it just adds to that little that little hominess. I think it's adorable. I love it. And I like find random items and I've got to go put them down. <laughs> and anyways, so I am going to start working on the uh, other rooms now. And I fit in three more beds. So this house has enough room for five. You can have a set of parents and then three children. I made one of them a toddler's bed and then a twin size bed and a double bed. So you could technically have like a teen, a child and a toddler in this room, but I made all of them like they're not necessarily neutral colors because it's you know, blues and greens, but they're still soft enough where I feel like any gender could be in these bedrooms. And I really liked it. I like the way that it turned out I think it's super cute <laughs> and then while I was decorating I realized that in the second bathroom I had forgotten to do a toddler toilet <laughs> so I had to do some rearranging of the bathroom the upstairs bathroom so that I could have enough room for a toddler toilet and I really 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 love the way that the uh, second bedroom turns out, the one for the child and the toddler, because while I was decorating, I kind of got obsessive with the wall decals. And it's like a really simple de decor piece where it's just, you know, they have trees and then they have moons and clouds, but I really love the way that it turned out. So like I'm setting everything down and making sure that they have everything that they need in the bedroom. So they've got a dresser, they've got a bookcase, and um, the lights that guard against the monsters under the bed. <laughs> and then I just start like going nuts. I don't know. I really love the, the teenager's room as well, where 
Uh, I put the bed in one corner and I gave them their own desk. And then I also decided that they were gonna have an art easel in there. So this whole house has plenty of skill building things. So if you were to play in this house, you know, there's an easel, there's the chess table. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. Uh, there's the chess table and then there's computers and uh, things outside as well. Uh, so if you were to play in this house, like, I don't know, you know, people play the game and they're always looking for big family homes. I feel like this would be a really good family home. Like it'd be really good, really awesome. And I start finally start working on the exterior. I feel like this was really weird for me as well. Like I normally like to do the exterior first. I want to know what at least the front of the house is going to look like before I get started. And it sort of sets the tone for the whole build. But this time I did the interior first and then I started working on the exterior. So you saw I placed down that chess table out on the front porch and then just like a little seating area. It's very cute. And I start working on the backyard and I give them a nice big pool and I did like a little sandbox. And um, the swing set, which came in Parenthood, and I didn't realize that this swing set had different color swatches that perfectly match the window coverings from base game. So up in the room that has the toddler bed and the child size bed, I used the curtains that had the, you know, the clouds and stuff on them. And then I used the same swatch for the uh, the swing set and I thought that was super cute and so I'm just starting to work on the landscaping and I decided to switch up the style of the fencing and I really like the way that that turned out I thought that was super cute and then I decided to give them a driveway just so that they could play basketball like I don't know this is a very picturesque suburban family home with like coastal touches. I don't know, it's super cute. I love this build so much. I didn't think that I was going to enjoy it because it was such a large build, Like, but once I got started and I started like placing everything down, it just kept, I'm like cuter and cuter and cuter and cuter. I loved it. <laughs> and so like I'm just working on some of the terrain paint and there's gardening stuff. Literally every skill that you could possibly want when you're starting out your game. It's here. It's all here, people. <laughs> and I even made sure that the by the pool area, there was also the toddler pool. So your toddler can play too. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm getting all of the landscaping down. And I didn't like overly landscape. Like just some, some, some hedges around one side of the house. And then a couple um, shrubs and trees that match the world behind. Or the, the area behind the lot. So that it sort of all blends in together. And I think that, that it all turned out really cute. And uh, yeah, we're just about there. So these are the things that I want to say to you. First of all, I hope you have a wonderful day. Like the best day ever. One out of a billion. The score is obviously a billion because it's the best day ever. And as always, if you are not having the best day, you can always come find me on Twitter, hit me up, and I will try to turn your day around because I love you and I want you to have an amazing day. So if you have liked this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up to let me know that you liked it. And as always, you can subscribe. I try to put out content on a fairly regular basis. It's like once a week now that class is back in session. But still, you know, once a week, I want to jump on here, give you something awesome to look at, and tell you to have an amazing day. So if you'd like to subscribe, that's a thing. You could do that. <laughs> But anyways, so we are just a few moments away from the screenshots, so have a great day. Like, send, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Comment down below if there's anything that I forgot or anything that you'd like to say. I love feedback and criticism, though I thrive. I thrive. <laughs> and I just, I really, I just, I want you to have a wonderful day. Just the best day. I will see you all later. Bye!